Hi guys, this is the Free to Play Master here with my 10th review. I took a request to do a game called Rising Eagle, a game that resembles Battlefield 2142. The premise is that it is many years in the future and two sides are locked in combat. This game is unique in the fact that it tries to be all futuristic and high tech and the like, and it does so, but as soon as we'll soon find out, it is an all too great game. I had mixed feelings about Rising Eagle's graphics. Before I play any free-to-play game, I always go to the graphics options and max them all out. Rising Eagle, Eagle surprised me with its anti-aliasing and its HDR, and I thought it was going to look pretty. I was wrong. So very, very wrong. The graphics here are old school. Very old school. Low poly counts, blurry textures, terrible animations, and my favorite part, faces that appear to have been copied and pasted from photos of real people. The interior of the um, levels had repeated textures everywhere and constantly got me confused. I had to rely on the minimap to get me from place to place. Well, one thing about the graphics that I did like was the blur effects that occur when you get hit by an explosive. It made the UI go haywire, which made me feel pretty immersed. This game also has modeled grass, similar to Oblivion, and um, it looks pretty good, but um, it will eat up your frame rate terribly if you don't have a great computer, since um, there are lots and lots of polygons only in the grass. This game also has physics, but they don't really do much to add to the immersiveness. Gameplay-wise, this game is old school. The combat is incredibly clunky. The network issues make it even worse. It plays like combat arms. All you do is run up to someone, jump and run around your opponent, and spray and spray. No skill whatsoever. Or strategy, mind you. This game has pretty, some pretty unique ideas, however. You can jump pretty high in this game, and you can kick a few destructible ob objects and opponents. But these two feel clunky, because the animations don't flow fluently with one another, and there's, an, and there's a delay between each time you perform one of these actions. The community doesn't help this game out either, considering the fact that there was only one server running on one map and half the people playing on it didn't bother communicating or responding to anything I said. Wait, did I just say half of them? I meant all of them. All of them didn't say anything to me. At the end of the short amount of time I played, spent playing it, since I couldn't stand the game for more than 10 minutes, this game just fails. And it fails bad. Rising Eagle gets a 2 out of 5 for its originality in the free-to-play game world, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and um, I did try and take the advice of one of my um, buddies um, and uh, tried to... Uh, get gameplay footage of more than one map but there was only one server that just kept repeating the same map over and over again so yeah and guys I tell you this all the time but please come on look at um look at my friend Hunter Punch Cat's videos they're pretty funny you know it's it's quite interesting how he has like a little ninja named Hector kinda that looks like he was made out of like Legos and it's it's pretty interesting and pretty funny and um they're short and sweet videos but some of them don't have almost any views and it's a little bit depressing to see that so cheer them up a little bit and make yourself feel good because you're knowing that you're making someone else feel good by watching his videos okay his name is hunter pudge cat and his video is called hector the ninja all right this was the this is the end of my video I hope to see you on the battlefield. Not this battlefield, mind you. Other battlefields that don't involve Rising Eagle whatsoever. Good day.